Securely Slides is a new tool for accessible visual automation. Securely Slides is going to change the way we create GUI automation. There is no need to write scripts or code to perform GUI automation. Instead, create presentation slides, import screenshots to the slides, and annotate them using special shapes. Securely Slides uses special shapes to perform different actions. For example, to perform left click, draw a rectangle around the target image, or if you want to type on a target on the screen, insert a text box around the target. For drag and drop, connect two rounded rectangles using an arrow pointing toward the drop location. When you are done with creating the slides, save the presentation document as .pptx and open it in Securely Slides. So let's see a real example on how Securely Slides works. Suppose you want to teach someone how to download an app on his phone from his own computer. To do that, we need to create a sequence of slides that correspond to the actual steps of doing that. So let's create presentation slide. The first step is to open the default browser. So we select the cloud shape and insert the URL. Next, we create another slide, take a screenshot and then add it to the slide. Then we add a text box around the search and then we type the text to search for. Then create another slide Add the screenshot to the slide. Now we select the rectangle shape to represent the left click. And then we create another slide for the remaining steps. So once we are done with creating the slides, we save the document as .pbtx. So now we will run it in Securely Slides. So Securely Slides opens up the default browser and type the text that was in the text box. So as you see, Securely Slides highlights the targets that we annotated in the presentation file and execute the appropriate action on each target. So let's see another example. We want to drag and drop this file into the trash. So we take a screenshot of the desktop and then create a new presentation document and then add the screenshot into the slide. So now we draw a rounded rectangle around the drag location and then a rounded rectangle around the drop location. Then we draw an arrow that points to the drag location. So we connect them using an arrow and then we save the slide as a .pbtx file. Now let's run it in Securely Slides.
so it highlights the target and then performs the drag and drop operation. Securely Slides is useful for automating anything on the screen, performing repetitive tasks and producing screenshot by screenshot tutorials in an interactive way.